LL Cool J said he couldn't live without his radio. For very different reasons, that's true for members of the Clay County Amateur Radio Emergency Service and the Orange Park Amateur Radio Club. Now, they have a field day coming up this weekend, and to talk more about it is Scott Roberts and Joe Bass, and they're going to explain what those organizations are and what the field day is. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks, Wayne. All right, so let's get to the basics. You guys are amateur radio operators. What does that mean? Well, amateur radio is a group of people that come together. They can talk across town. They can talk across the country, uh, all around the world. It can even go into outer space. You can talk to the International Space Station. Oh, really? And all of this is you, without using wires to connect cell phones and things like that. Uh, it's a service as well, not just a hobby, but the service is where we can be a lifeline for communication when all other forms like cell phones go down and people can't communicate. We might do that in a hurricane setting or any time where there's a catastrophe. Well, that's totally appropriate, especially now that we're in our hurricane season. So you guys are an integral part of keeping people connected when, like you said, all other forms of communication are down. I'm dating myself, but what are, are ham radio operators and you guys kind of in the same vein? Uh, we are what are called ham radio operators, okay. though nobody really knows where the term <laughs> ham came from, uh, but we wear it as a badge of honor. Um, but what's going on with it now really isn't like the old days. There are a lot of new technologies that we use, uh, robotics, we can send images, uh, we can send emails. Um, I've even played around and sent uh, tweets really? with amateur radio. All right. All right, so let's talk about field day. What exactly does that entail? Well, field day is the largest gathering um, nationwide of amateur radio operators and basically what happens is we set up our equipment we um, test everything that we're gonna do it's it's a contest uh, where we try to make as many contacts as possible but it's uh, a time where we can test our equipment test our ability to set up in different situations without wires without power um, we run with generators solar power and and operate that way now besides field day what other kind of uh, training do you guys do uh, one of the things that we do to train is we might support local events um, like the Donna Run or the MS-150. Uh, we work with Florida Striders for their uh, road races where they run, and we provide communication support all along those. In fact, one of the areas, not here particularly in Jacksonville, but where amateur radio helped was in the Boston bombing. Okay. There were amateur radio operators all along the Boston Marathon that then could help when all the other communications were failing and they could pass information for people to know how to stay safe during that. Oh, that's so cool. Now, our time's kind of running short. You brought a big toy here, which I guess <laughs> is your normal. And uh, we heard a little beep earlier, but can we try to connect with somebody? Sure, let's see what we can do here. K4AMF, KK4ECR. I'm thinking of like CB's Breaker Breaker 1-9, that kind of thing. Uh Oh, K4AMF, KK4ECR. There we go. KK4ECR, K4AMF, go ahead. Morning, Andy. Can I get a signal report and uh, your station situation? Affirmative. You are 5-9, full quieting into the repeater. Station is operating on commercial grid power. Current temperature is 89 degrees, 70% humidity. Wind 7 out of east southeast. Where is he located? He's actually in Orange Park. Okay. Um, we're, t we're actually talking um, to an antenna f here that is hitting a repeater in Orange Park, and then he's responding back the same way. All right, all right. So the competition is actually a 24-hour competition. It's uh, from 2 p.m. to 2 p.m., Saturday to Sunday. And so anybody can come attend, but there, there's actually a website you can find other locations for that are people that are involved. Correct. That is um, ARRL.org slash field dash day slash um, dash locator. All right, well, we're going to put that information on our website, rivercitylivetv.com, and click on the As Seen on RCL tab. So thank you guys for spending some time with me and uh, giving me some new intellectuals to take in. <laughs>